so today is the 22nd of April and it's finally the day in which I'm gonna be firing the new pieces. I just cannot believe that they're finally one month later I managed to do what I wanted to do on March. But well, it's fine. What I'm saying always is fine, but it seems like it's not that far. It's okay. So this morning I'm gonna be working on the, the pieces that are already glazed. Go through every single piece and see if there is any imperfection on the glaze meaning there is some parts where there is like too thick or smooth out some of the marks and yeah that's all then later I'm gonna be loading the kiln and if I have time I'm gonna start trimming the pieces for this collab that is coming soon I'm starting to feel this excitement on my belly when I'm a bit nervous. I hope you're all wonderful, okay? As you can see, I'm, I'm so tired. But yeah, so we're gonna work on these pieces. And the ones we have down there. <laughs> By the way, I'm John. I'm a ceramist from Barcelona that I did not introduce myself this time. I'm gonna be doing voiceover for this part. Basically, I wanted to explain a tiny bit what I'm doing when I'm going through the glazes. Basically, for some of the pieces, you just need to even up all the glazes. So I just gently brush out the axis of glaze with my fingertips. Some other times, as you see with a flower plate, I'm using another tool in order to get into the spaces that it's physically impossible for me to reach and I go really gently because if you go really strong you can remove a big part of the glaze, a big chunk of the glaze and then you'll need to glaze it again and depending on the area you need to get rid of all the glaze from the piece and then glaze it again so yeah you need to be really focused because you can mess the surface of the glaze so let's slow the kiln here we have it I will have to clean it a tiny bit because yeah, I have some stuff from the fast firing and I don't think you can hear me properly. I was saying that I will have to clean some of the shelves and also vacuum the bottom because sometimes it, get, it gets a bit dusty with all the safety tripods. I don't know how they call in English. The ones you use as a base for the pieces once you glaze them. They live like a rusty layer, so I will have to clean that also. And yeah, later on I'm gonna be loading the kiln. And I'm gonna show you around. Yeah, it's not that... Uh, it's so exciting. <laughs> it's me just placing one piece after the other. But um, yeah. I wanted to show and, and load the kiln with you guys because it's, it's not always shown. First piece to go into the kiln after cleaning it. And it seems like a really simple activity, a simple task, but it is not because you can mess the, the glaze really easily, you can scratch it with anything and yeah, you, you'll need to glaze it again and I don't like to put pieces into the kiln if they are not dry because then the glaze can be compromised since there is water still in the body of the clay and sometimes it's just like pulled out of the, the walls of the piece. As you can see it's just really automatic but you need to be really patient and you need to calculate that none of the pieces are touching each other or touching the kill or the shelf because then once it's gonna cool down and this piece that was in contact with something else is gonna attach to that surface and then yeah fuse into into another one so you get two cups together or maybe a mushroom and a flower plate so i'm done all the pieces are loaded i already started the fire the glazing the glazing fire what the glazing. i i just i i just oh <laughs> So I just finished loading the kiln and I started firing the pieces. I couldn't fit everything. So next week, in the middle of the week, I'll try to have another firing. But yeah, 
Wow, I'm tired. It's been now it's five past two and I started this morning at nine. Now I'm gonna have a break, I'm gonna have lunch, give some food also to the dog. My sister dog I'm taking care of him. And I think for today that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna clean up outside and I'm gonna bring some of the pieces inside the one I couldn't fit inside the kiln. I'm looking forward to see how it goes because yeah those are new glazes that I tested already and they were okay I mean I like them I'm a tiny bit nervous because now all the glazes are already on my pieces and <laughs> we will see we'll see good morning good morning good morning and today we're gonna unload the kiln the clay is firing and I'm I'm really nervous um, yeah because I don't know I have a feeling it's gonna go so wrong well it's not that it's gonna go so wrong but since i wanted to have all the pieces ready a month ago now i'm kind of freaking out because um yeah well it's it's part of the process but i don't know why i'm so nervous today as you can see i just arrived i didn't even <laughs> leave my backpack but i'm gonna bring you to the kiln and we're gonna we're gonna make it together i just open up again the kiln just to see the upper layer and it's fine but let's go try to my back on the cash but it might tempt me everybody telling me chill but it turns out I've been trying to for years and still never learned how all I see is a million stories I'm trying to finish them I'm living in existence and never needs no embellishing I'm building out a legacy others dream of just visiting to when they say my name there is nothing close to a synonym let me in I used to scream at the establishment imagine if there's someone or something holding me back from it now instead of putting my hand I beg of the scraps I see fuck the beat and pop I'm a busting fire to back Now instead of hit your ride I'm a slide to the destination I ignore the signposts I'm sorry I kept you waiting Still I got a lot of troubles I'm trying to figure them out All I know is I would rather blow up Than fizzle out Fizzle out Fizzle out Fizzle out I tell you baby I'm in burnout Let's get a whistle and leave a burnout If I stay here I know it turns out All the pieces are already unloaded. I'm happy. I was a bit afraid because some of those are new glazes and yeah. <sighs> it's always hard to trust. I was freaking out basically because I have tested the glaze twice as you can see with those ones but you never know how they will react into your pieces because sometimes I have glazes that, that were tested and then Mm, weird stuff happened. So so far so good. I can show you those are the green insides. This one is a deeper green. This one is actually this is white. <laughs> those ones. This is like a light green in here. I also have the flowers. We have the white, the little mushrooms. So you'll see, I'm gonna show you later on some more close-ups and details. Now I can breathe and I can keep on working because honestly I was coming here, I took the train and every single time I was getting a stop closer I was getting <laughs> more and more nervous. <laughs> well, well um, yeah. So I'll get to the next step, I'll get to trim and work on the bases.